Hello everyone, welcome back to Detroit Tips and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Marvel's Rivals is having crashing issue, it is not launching on bone launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS stop, stuck overloaded screen and even many more issues which is happening across the globe and how we can fix this up so let's dive into this. So the first one is all about, we have to go over here in the start and click on this particular icon go over here in the power icon and go for a restart that's what you have to do as the first step sometimes you know a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble so we have to start with a simple restart next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game not from the steam but we have to launch the game from the installation folder so most of us launch the game from steam so that is why we end up in having this issue so we have a shortcut from the steam that is we just need to go over here in the game right click and go to the properties now go over here in the install it file and just click on the browse now that will take you to this particular folder and if you check at the top that is this pc local disk d steam library steam apps common marvel rivals and if you check if you scroll down you can see this is the application over here so this is around this is the application that is .exe file and from here you can launch the game so that will be working if you don't know how to, apart from the shortcut, you can directly navigate to the installation folder if you know where the game is installed. And in my case, it is installed on D, but usually it always installed on C, but I'm installed on D, so I have to open the D. Now from here, go to the Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here, we have to navigate to Marvel Rivals, and from here, we have to scroll down, and we have to navigate to the application, and that is .exe. Now from here, we can launch the game. So that is also done and once you're done with this one and still if you're having the trouble you can try another step from the installation folder that is all about we need to run the game as an administrator or we have to run the game in the compatibility mode so to run the game as an administrator we have to click on the application and just go over to the show more options and go to the properties now go to the compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode and we have to set this to the windows 7 and we have to go for apply or we have to set this to the windows 8 and go for apply and once you're done with one you can check the game still if you're having the trouble click on run this program as administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok and once you're done with this one and once you're done with this one just go back and try launch the game next one is all about after trying with this if the issue is still there we can try to the next one that is all about what we need to do is we just need to after with this we just need to delete the saved game file so we just need to go over here go to the file explorer we have to navigate to this pc and over here if you find the folder for the my games just delete the respective folder and you have to keep in mind when you do this you'll be losing all the progressions of the game so you'll be losing all the progressions of the game so you have to delete the respective folder but even though it worked for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about what we need to do is still if you're having the trouble the next one is all about what we need to do so we just need to allow the game to window security so we just need to go over here search for the control panel search for the control panel and navigate to this one and from here we have to go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow napor feature through windows defender firewall now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to the marvel's Rival. So we have to check whether the Marvel Rival is added. So right now if you check the Marvel Rival is added and make sure the private and public both are checked. Put a check on both the boxes and that is what you have to do. In most cases this will be here but in some cases you will not be able to see the Marvel Rival here. If that is the case we need to add the game. So to add the game just click on the change setting. Go for allow another app. Navigate to the browse. And from here go to this PC, go to the local disk D, go to the program file, sorry, go to the uh, Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to the common. Now from here what we need to do is, we just need to go over here at the top, go to the Marvel Rivals. Now from here we have to select the application, click on this one and go for add. So don't worry over here, I'm getting the error because the game is already added. So this is what we have to do for the users. Those who are not able to find the Marvel rival here, you can add the game by default. So just doing so. And once the game is added, just go back and try to launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, you can try the next one. That is all about what we need to do is we need to 
do is what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of things. For example, right now over here in my PC, I'm connected to a mic and I'm connected to uh, a joystick, which is both might be causing the issue up. So just remove, unplug all the USB devices. And once everything is unplugged, try launch the game. And once the game is successfully launched, you can try connect it back and try you can most probably that's going to help you guys out. Moving to the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here and click on this one and search for system configuration. So just click on this one and we have to go over here, go to the services and go for hide or disable all. Go for hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. Now go for a restart. But uh, the users are watching this. You have to mandatory. You have to try for restart. But I'm going to go for exit without restart. And once it has been done, just go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. And from here, as you can see, if the enable the Steam overlay while in game is turned on, we have to turn this off and try launch the game. And also you can try if that is not working, try giving the commands in the launch option. That is, you have to try with DX11 or if DX11 is not working, try with DX12. If DX12 is not working, try with D3, D2. And you can try either DX11 or you can try with DX12 or you can try with D3, D2. And once everything is not working, just remove everything and you can move to the next step. Next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is so we just need to close all the overlay applications and as well as all the clocking application. So just go over in the game, right click and go to the task manager. And right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So right now, as you can see, as you can see in the background process, there are many unwanted things which is running, which I'm not using. That is Adobe Photoshop is running in my background. Even if you go to the Avast antivirus is running in the background and you can see the total security is running in the background. And even if you scroll down, you can see the Discord is one of the main reason. Epic Games Launcher and many things are running in the background. And all these things are actually affecting the performance of my game when I'm trying to launch. So I'm having the issue. So what I need to do is just go over here to the Adobe Photoshop, just right click and go for end the task and remove all the unwanted things from here. And once every unwanted things are removed, just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings and from here, just go over here and select this one. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to add the game. So just keep scrolling down and we have to either search for the game, but the game is not added. So just click on the add desktop app. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to go to this PC, go to local disk D, go to the Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to select the Marvel's rivals. And from here, we have to select this one and we have to go for add. So once the game is added, if you just scroll down, you can see somewhere else over here, you can see this and just go over here and click on this one and change from let Windows aside, change to this to high performance and go for save. And once everything has been done, just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about if still if you're having the trouble, you can try increasing the virtual memory. So to do this, just go over here search for the view advanced system settings just search for this one and click on this particular one and now from here go to the advanced tab just click on the settings and go for the advanced and go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed if you select this you'll not be able to select the game so uncheck this and select the game install that is d and click on the custom size that is initial size which is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size three times the total ram so just go over here and we have to search for the calculator. So just search for the calculator. And first we need to type the RAM that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024. 1024 is actually a constant value. Just type your RAM and multiply it with 1024. And we have to multiply it with 1.5. That is 49,152. And we have to paste it. And next one that is 32 GB multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and once everything has been set just close everything and once everything has been done just try launch the game if that is not the case let's move to the next step next step is all about we need to 
update the graphics card manually so so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia as well as to the amd so the nvidia users just go to this particular page and from here you can uh, download the nvidia official uh, graphics card so what you need to do is just go over here and from here you have to give the details for example you have to manually search go for if you're on the geoforce just go for the geoforce and if you're on any other thing you can give the respective one and if the geoforce rtx 14 series you can give the 14 series and if you're on the geoforce rtx you can give this one and the windows 11 and you can try all these things and go for find search or you can navigate to the search now once afterwards if you check over here at the top that is the driver version is 566.36 which is the driver version which is on december 5 2024 so download this one and install and if you're on the amd just go to the respective page and you can provide all the details so mine is around uh, uh, amd rd on rx57 xt so you'll be getting this particular page so if you're on windows 11 with 64 bit download this one and if you're on windows 10 with 64 bit you can download this one and also if you're on the microsoft visual c plus plus as you can see you can just go over here in this particular page and now from here if the system is over here you can navigate to the microsoft visual c plus plus and if the system is based on 6 x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 we can download this one and install a restart as a mandatory and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to try is after trying with all these things still if you might be having the trouble you can try a few more steps that is all about just go over here in the game right click and go to the manage and un uninstall the game and also you can try reinstalling it back while reinstalling it back you should be make sure one thing that you should not be installing back on the same local disk you have to try either the local disk d or you have to try with e you should not be installing back on the same local disk when which uninstalled if the game is installed on D, in my case it is on D, so I have to either I have to try it install back on C or I have to try with E. I should not be installing back on D itself. And after trying with the still the issues there, you can try the last and the least step. That is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. So to do this, just go over in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go over here in the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So that is going to take a little bit of time because uh, the game is around 47.5 GB. So the verify integrity of game file is actually a very important step because it is going to fix all the issues like, you know, what you have to say is, you know, they're going to go through everything. They're going to cross check every single files of a game. If any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So we just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
So once everything is done, just close this and go back and try launch the game. So these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe this channel for these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.